Hi everyone, I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman. This is a 21st Century Superhuman show or broadcast. We've had a lot of really cool, amazing things happen in the last few months. Um, I've been kind of quiet, but we have been developing great things for you behind the scenes. And today I want to talk about how we operate from love. How is it that we bypass all the old data we're carrying around that wants to resonate in the field? All the old data that is part of our our, gen our generations, the psychobiology that we were born into, the experiences of our life. And we as 21st century superhumans are learning how to bypass this old, old data, how to clear it, how to cancel, release, and let it go and step into the greater aspect of who we truly are as creator beings in this world. Because what we resonate is going to be what we see around us. And the way we resonate has to do with our consciousness, our mind, our ability to focus, our ability to choose where our mind and heart are operating. So we're gonna talk about that today. I'm gonna to show you a really cool chart that my friend Ann Murphy made for me. I used to be drawing it on the wall and she did such a cool job. So today I want to talk about, we'll use this iceberg as a metaphor, and I want to thank Dr. Michael Rice, who I learned from, um, he wrote a book called Why Again, and that is the name of his website also. He's done tons of research in the ancient Aramaic, and ancient Aramaic is an original language from early civilization that operated in resonance. The words create a resonance and they tell us, it's actually a language of quantum physics and they tell us how to operate via quantum physics in a way that creates the kind of resonance that we want in this world. So Harvard studies tell us that only 5% of our thought is conscious we look at the tip of the iceberg yeah. and that 5% conscious thought is what we sort of think about on a, on a daily basis. Our shopping list, what we need to get done, who we're gonna you know, contact, what we're gonna do for fun. And driving the boat is that 95% unconscious thought which is below the waterline. And this is really even according to Harvard studies, but it's also what the ancient Aramaic teaches us. And so down in our submerged container, our unconscious, the old memories and resonances carried inside of us are blame, fear, judgment, hostility, and control. This is what book two, Mind, is about in the 21st Century Superhuman series. You can find them at my website, and these are even up now as audiobooks. And so listening to my wonderful husband narrating them, they're pretty incredible. It's a great way to change our mind and our consciousness. So. In the ancient Aramaic, rachma is a filter on the frontal lobe of the brain for intentions of love. And kuba is a filter on the back of the brain for perceptions of love. And so rachma and kuba kind of help manage what is going on in our brain. And in our brain, in our, our DNA antenna, in the way that we are consciously running our life, we need to learn to recognize, am I operating in blame? Am I shaking my fist at those guys out there, at them, at him, at her, and saying it's their fault? If I'm operating in that, I need to breathe and smile. Can you breathe and smile when you're blaming someone? or living in fear. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen with the jabs? What's gonna happen with the, the green things? What's gonna happen with the this and the that? If I'm living in fear, can I breathe and smile? I mean, it's funny. In my books, I talk about breathing and smiling as being, and I call that, it's our ultimate solution. Because if we can breathe and smile, 
we can release this old data inside of us. I can hold so and so in front of me. You know, who is that? You know, whatever, that whatever, whatever, whatever. And I can breathe and smile and send them love. And I literally remove that old unconscious data from myself. This is the most important thing we can learn right now. And this is when I have fear. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? But if I hold that thing up that I'm afraid of, in fact, I breathe and smile and I say, I'm not even gonna hold that thing in creation by giving it my attention. When we give, when we enter the resonance of fear or blame, about something we are literally holding it in form oh my gosh would you like to make those things just disintegrate as we are told will happen in this shift of the ages as we breathe smile and love and hold that energy and let go of the blame let go of the fear they're the bad guy we need to cut them down we need to do this we need to do that oh my gosh what's going to happen let it go breathe smile and love and then look at these lower things so the way down in the bottom of the that unconscious container our unconscious thought down in the lower part of the iceberg which is outside of love judgment I'm judging them because they did this. Oh my gosh. Judgment can be very subtle. Control, I wanna control them. I wanna keep them from doing this. I wanna make sure that they do this. Hostility, I'm angry at them because they're doing this. Okay, you know what? They are me. The matrix can only mirror that which we give it. So if we're operating in this, from this unconscious container, which is in all of us, it's in me. We are one, you are me, they are me. The only way I can change this world is by breathing and activating perceptions of love in the back of my brain and smiling and activating intentions of love in the frontal lobe of my brain and then releasing all these things that I don't want to hold in creation. Do I want to hold blame in creation? Do I want to keep seeing it around me? Well then, focus on it. And if you don't want to see it around you anymore, breathe and smile and say, I'm gonna focus on joy. I am gonna focus on canceling, releasing, and letting go. It is helpful to allow these things to come into our conscious mind as we're canceling them. That's part of the releasing process. Then Yeshua actually used the words cancel, release, and let go because those are how we let go, get rid of, quit holding in form, quit creating things that we can blame, things that we can fear, things that we can judge, things we can have hostility about, and things we want to control. So let go of the rope, because when you let go of the rope, there can't be a tug of war. And begin living your life in a new way. Breathe, smile, and love. And please come and join us at 21st Century Superhuman. We want you to be in a community with us where we're talking daily about how to change our lives, how to get our bodies healthy and fit, how to change this world that we live in that we seems to be in chaos around us, but there is a new earth waiting to be born and that new earth is being born through us, through our vibration, through our joy, through our love of each other, through our acceptance of everyone else's soul journey. Let it go. Breathe, smile, and love, and activate a new way of things going on in this world. Join us at 21stCenturySuperhuman.com. Join our email list so you can get regular updates because without those, with everything scattered a little bit, it's hard to keep in touch. We want you to know everything that we're doing. Love you all so much. Remember, the simplest thing changes the world. This is all you have to do. 
breathe, smile, and love. See you soon. Ciao. Now, now, now.